Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will look at the joins in SQL Server and then we will see with an example like what is the inner join in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is what are the joins in SQL Server. So when you are working in a normalized environment then majority of the time whatever information you need that might be stored in multiple tables. So joins are used to join two or more tables together based on the common columns. So we got different type of joins inner join, left outer join, right outer join, full outer join and the cross join. So we will see all these with example in the details but in this particular video we will look at the inner join in SQL Server. So in this particular video we will look at the inner join in SQL Server. An inner join returns only the rows from both the tables that have the matching values in the specified columns. So let's see this with the example. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server instance here and in the SQL database we got two tables customers table and the orders table. So let me just create the customer table first and insert some data and then let me create the orders table and insert some data into the orders table. So I executed these queries and they have inserted a 4 and 5 records respectively into the customers and the orders table. So if I select the data now so we got the customers data in this particular table and we got the orders information in this particular table okay so what we will do uh, we will select all the columns from the customers table and the order id order date and the shift date from the orders table so we want the columns from both the tables so what we can do uh, because we got a customer id common column in both the tables so we can join both the tables together using the customer id and then we can fetch whatever columns we want from both the tables okay so we can use the inner join so what inner join will do for all the matching values from the customer table with the matching values in the orders table it will select the matching records for example customer id 1 this is present in the customer table and customer id 1 is also present in the orders table so this particular record will be selected from both the tables similarly customer id 2 this exists in the customers table and customer id2 is also present in the orders table so this record will also be selected now if we check the customer id4 so customer id4 exists in the customers table but it does not exist in the orders table so this record this won't be selected from any of the table because this is not a matching record so that's why it won't be selected from any of the table okay now we got the customer id 5 so customer id 5 is present in customers table as well as in the orders table so it will be selected from both the tables okay we need to write like select from and the first table is the customers table and we can alias this table as a and then i can write inner join and now the orders table so i can copy and paste the orders table and I can alias the orders table as B. So now instead of writing the full name like customers and orders, we can use the character like A and B. Okay. On A dot customer ID equal to B dot customer ID. So here we have used the A dot. So A dot means customers. And here we have used the B dot. So B dot means orders. So we can alias the table name here. Okay. This is the joining condition and now in the select list we can select whatever columns we need so for example i want to select all the columns from the customers table so i can write a dot star so it will select all the columns and from the b table i want the order id order date and the ship date so i can write b dot order id and b dot order date and then b dot ship date okay so this is how we can select the columns from different tables so here we are selecting all the columns from the customers table and then the three columns from the orders table so now i can execute the query and this should return the three records so you can see that this return the three records now let me just uh, run this inner join query with the existing query you know that we had so you can clearly see that the customer id 1 2 and 5 because they were common between the customer table and the order table so that's why those records came in the inner join query although we had some extra customer id in the orders table as customer id 3 is extra here customer id 6 is extra here 
but they did not came because we are using the inner join and in the inner join it selects only the matching records there are some different kind of joins as well like the left join and the right join and like the full join so where it can return the data whether it got matched or not matched and i can explain you that in the coming videos but for the inner join it only select the matching records so i will share all the uh, create table statement insert query and the select query as well so you can download it from the link in the description of the video and so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much